Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning and this is for the week of December 14th through the 20th. I'm finally almost at Christmas and for this week I have a kit from Nikki Plus 3. This is a Christmas kit from her called Christmas Morning as you can see and it's in a gold foil. I just realized that all the Christmas kits I picked out this year are gold foil. I normally like to switch it up a little bit but I totally did not realize for this year when I was purchasing purchasing all these kits. But anyways, here are the full boxes. We've got eight of them and the quote box here says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And we've also got some quarter boxes here at the bottom. This next page has the half boxes, some deco pieces, flags, washi strips, and some tech stickers. And then we've got this page here that has the bottom washi, a Monday through Sunday box, some date covers, and quarter boxes. The last page that's part of this kit is um, all the functional items. We've got the headers, the bow check flags, layering icons, quarter boxes, bill due sticker, appointment label, these little arrows. And she also included this little sheet with date dots and the weekend banner, which I love holding onto um, so that I can pull these into future spreads. Um, so yeah, that's everything that comes with this Christmas morning kit. I really love these colors. It's definitely like very Christmassy, but also a bit softer than your typical like reds and greens. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to planning this week. And if you're interested in joining along, then stay tuned. While I'm placing down the bottom washi and building my sidebar, I just wanted to take a moment to say a big thank you to everyone who had reached out and commented um, in my previous few videos where I had shared some tough stuff that I was going through. Um, a lot of you guys had left just really encouraging messages and sent your love, sent your prayers, and I just want to tell you how much I appreciate that. I know I've been slow to respond to the comments lately, but um, please know Know that I do see them and I so appreciate them and honestly I'm just so grateful for you guys um, you guys have been so sweet to me since day one you know no matter kind of what I'm going through or how much I'm in and out of the planner world I feel like um, yeah you guys have just been the best so thank you thank you thank you I just can't say that enough now moving on to my spread, I have now laid down the bottom washi and started to build the sidebar. Um, the bow checklist that I placed down for my happy moments is from White Deer Stationery. And then I also placed down some gold foiled icons from the date dots sheet that came with the kit. Um, it comes with like these little hearts and these little arrows. So I decided to use them in the sidebar. I then placed down some deco pieces there at the top just because there is empty space and um, the kit included those little deco. And then I go ahead and place down all of the date covers and the date dots that came with the kit. Initially, I thought I would um, actually write in the dates myself, but I didn't like how that looked, so I ended up pulling in the date dots anyway. Starting the week with Monday, I first placed down a foiled header at the top, and then um, on Monday, I went and grabbed some Starbucks. Usually, I try to make coffee at home, but I'm sure I was just running late this morning, um, so I decided to pick up Starbucks on the way, and that hot cocoa sticker is a deco from the kit. I just thought it could totally sub as coffee, and um, it matches the theme, so I decided to pull that in. Then I had a 7.30 meeting, which I marked using a third box, and a laptop sticker sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. Then moving on with the rest of the day, I used a today header from the kit and I love her font. It's like so dainty and so pretty. Um, and then I used this layering flag with a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that I had to work late again on Monday. Um, then underneath that, I placed down a full box and I chose the one with the snow globe, which is definitely one of my favorite boxes. At the bottom, I decided to use a header and a three bow checklist that I cut from the kit to mark some things that I did after work. Um, I did stop by the post office to grab some happy mail. So I pulled in this gold foiled happy mail sticker from Magic Prince Co. And um, once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move on to Tuesday. On Tuesday, I first placed down a quarter box at the top, or it might be a third box actually, because it kind of looks a bit thicker. And then I used this gold foiled YouTube icon, which is from the Pretty Pink Co. to mark that I uploaded a plan with me that morning. I usually have them set to upload um, early in the morning, like at eight. So um, that's usually when you'll see new videos from me. I then placed down a full box and underneath that, I initially wanted to mark an IEP meeting that I had. Um, so I pulled in this like flag stick 
sticker from the kit with an IEP script from Hazel Sticker. But then I remembered that I wanted to mark grabbing Thai food for lunch um, just because it was kind of like a special thing. Um, so I lifted up the flag sticker and moved it underneath a little bit. To mark my lunch, I used a Thai food icon from Hazel Sticker and I layered that on top of an arrow that came in the kit just to add a little more color. Once I'm done with that, I placed down a half box. I pulled in a workout time sticker that's in my writing, so it's from Planner Just For You, and I used a deco piece from the kit and also a shoe sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark my workout that I finally did on Tuesday. These weeks have not been good for me workout wise and it's actually gone even more downhill since then. So that part's just been super tough lately. Um, but anyways, continuing with the day, uh, I placed down a quarter box at the very bottom and then I used this like sleeping mask sticker from, I think that's from Simply Said Life to mark that I was so, so tired. On Tuesday, I took a quick nap and then I had to wake up to give Pokey, our cat, her medication. Um, so that's what I marked on the quarter box. And that pill sticker is from a happy blue tree. On Wednesday, I placed down a full box at the very bottom. And then moving to the top of Wednesday, I placed down a to-do header with a quarter box to mark a morning meeting that I had. Um, the arrow sticker that I pulled in came with the kit. Um, that one is like one of the non-foiled arrows. And then underneath that, I wanted to mark an observation that I did. I actually had to observe a virtual classroom because that particular student was attending school virtually. And um, it's like very tricky to see things because you know you're so limited to like what's on the screen but anyways to mark that I used the Santa hat sticker that came in the kit and then this like glasses sticker from the pretty pink co and it was actually super perfect because the student I was observing was wearing her Santa hat that day and so that just gave me a little chuckle how perfectly that worked out I then marked an IEP meeting that I had that afternoon on the half box. And then underneath that, I used a quarter box to mark that I went to Marshall's to do some Christmas shopping. Um, we weren't really getting together with any friends or family for Christmas this year, but I still wanted to send out a Christmas package. Initially, I used this Shopping Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co., but I just felt like that color didn't quite match the kit. So I replaced that with another shopping icon. This one is like a cute cat going into a shopping bag, which poked he totally does and it's from Echo Hui Craft Co. That night we watched a show called Bad Blood and the weirdest thing is like I don't even remember watching this show at all or like anything that the show was about. I only know because I had taken notes on my phone of what I did that day and looking back I just feel like I was in a total haze like I was just a walking zombie for these weeks where I was like dealing with you know emotional grief and exhaustion from work and feeding Pokey her meds three times a day. Um, I just feel like this part of my life has just been almost like blocked out of my memory. It was just like very hazy, but it was just so weird to me that I couldn't remember this show at all. Um, that popcorn sticker is from a shop that's no longer open. Moving on to the second half of the week, I decided to place down some full boxes first on Thursday and Friday. And then at the top of Thursday, I used a foiled header. Then I used an arrow sticker that came in the kit. It's like a layering sticker. And I put this coffee from Hazel sticker on top of it to mark that I made some Dalgona coffee that morning. Thursday was pajama day at work, which is always wonderful because it's always nice to wear pajamas to work. I don't actually wear like real pajamas because I just feel kind of weird being in pajamas around students and um, seeing parents and things like that. Um, but I did wear leggings, which was really nice. And that sleepy emoji sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. I grabbed Del Taco for lunch that day, which I marked using a quarter box and a taco sticker from Hazel Sticker. And then after work, I drove down to San Diego to see one of my best friends. Um, her birthday had just passed and I didn't make it out to her little birthday get together. Um, so I decided to drive down to see her for some dinner and also to give her her present. And that cute best friend sticker is from Once More With Love. We basically just caught up that night over dinner and presents. So I marked that using a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts and that was it for Thursday. 
On Friday, I moved to the middle of the day because I had already placed down a full box at the top. I used a today header with a laptop sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that I got to work from home on Friday. It was really nice to be able to work from home again, even though it was just for the one day. Um, that script sticker is in my writing, so it's from Planner Just For You. And then I made myself some coffee again, which I marked using a flag and a coffee from Hazel sticker. I wanted to mark that I did a ton of report writing when I worked from home. I had so much to catch up on. And to mark that, I used a washi strip with this like paper and pencil sticker. Um, I don't remember which shop that's from. I, I think that was given to me as a gift, um, so I can't quite remember. But if I do remember, I will put it on the screen. At the bottom, I used a half box and a TV icon from The Pretty Pink Co. to mark that we watched the movie Django, which I actually do remember doing. And then above that, I wanted to mark doing a workout, which again, are so few and far between these days, I definitely had to mark it. That shoe sticker is the same one that I used on Tuesday, and it's from Hazel Sticker. Moving on to the weekend, for some reason, I decided not to use the gold foiled weekend banner that came with the kit, and I first placed down a full box at the bottom of Saturday. At the top, I used a half box and another heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that it was the start of my winter break, which I was so excited for and I definitely needed. On Saturday morning, we did our final house walkthrough. Um, that house icon is from Right Brain Paper Co. And oh my gosh, this feels like such a lifetime ago. And then um, in the half box, or I'm sorry, the quarter box that I just placed down, I marked that our friends came over to play the game Pandemic. We were playing the legacy version and this was like our third day playing it. It is like a really long game and it takes forever, but it's super fun. And then that evening, um, our cat had a short seizure. It was both good and bad because because, um, obviously we don't want her to have any seizures, but it was good that the seizure was so short, which tells us that the medicine is working, which, you know, is good news. Um, that cat sticker I pulled in is from Once More With Love. And then at the end of the night, I went and grabbed some boba with a few of my friends. It was really good to see them. They are my friends from high school. So we, you know, grew up together and have known each other for over half of our lives now. So yeah, it was really great to catch up with them. Um, the boba date script sticker is from randy.plans and then the actual boba sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. There was a little bit of space left, so I pulled in this like divider sticker. I think that's from my spoiled planner, if I'm not mistaken. And then at the very bottom, I used a TV from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I watched a show that was like based on the Wait For It song in Hamilton. And because I love Hamilton, I definitely had to watch that. And yeah, that was it for Saturday. On Sunday, I first placed down a quarter box and I used this Crying Fox sticker from a shop called May Cause Memories. I'm not sure if she's still open, but anyways, I used that to mark that Pokey had another short seizure that morning. Um, so if she has more than three seizures within a 24 hour period, it is considered an emergency and we have to take her to the ER. So I was like really worried that she would have another one, um, but luckily she didn't, so it was all good. And then uh, I wanted to mark that we had French toast for breakfast. That little sandwich sticker is from Plans with Finesse. And then I had to take my car in for a smog test. So I used a car sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that. I had placed down that full box earlier. And then underneath that, I used another quarter box with a grocery icon from Artbox Stickers to mark that I stopped by and grabbed some groceries from Trader Joe's and 99 Ranch, which is a Chinese market. And then at the very bottom, I used a today header with a four bow checklist from the kit to mark some things that I did for the rest of the day, just cause I didn't really have enough space to mark each thing individually. So the way that I like to do it is just by using a checklist. I pulled in that filming icon from Happy Sherpa Paper Read to mark that I did some uh, recording and editing that night. And yeah, that was it for my week. As usual, the last thing I do is moving back to my sidebar. For my workouts this week, I pulled in these gold foiled bows from um, Chic Chic Designs to mark the days that I worked out instead of like writing it in with my pen. And then I just go ahead and fill in all of my happy moments from the week and all of my dinners. Here are these stickers that I have left in this kit. Um, I love Nikki Plus 3 kits. They work really well for my planning style um, with lots of boxes and deco and layering icons. They just have a variety of like everything basically. 
And yeah, now I'm doing a quick vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled into this spread. I don't feel like I pulled in a ton this week, but um, it's still quite shiny, which I love. And um, now I'm just giving you guys a little walkthrough of the entire spread. I hope you guys enjoy these little close-ups. I feel like it just gives you a chance to see some of those details a little bit better, just because sometimes I feel like, I don't know, the camera just doesn't do it justice. But anyways, that is it for this week. I am, oh my gosh, almost at Christmas day. So close yet so far away. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching as usual. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. And again, I just want to thank all of you guys who have reached out um, with such kind words over the last few weeks, over the last month. They honestly just reminded me of how much I love this community and um, I don't know how much good and positivity and love there is in this community, I guess. So anyways, I don't mean to be too sappy. Just wanted to say thank you. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.